problems 18 and 19 from homework worksheet H1-1, it says simplify each expression. And I'm going to tell you right now, these ones are really important. This is the number one mistake that happens all year long in Algebra 2 every single year. It's when we're looking at distributing a negative through a grouping symbol or, you know, a quantity there. So for the first one here, we've got a negative 2 times a quantity of 3t minus 3 halves. So we're going to multiply our negative 2 times a 3t, and then we're going to multiply our negative 2 times a negative 3 halves. If you need to, you know, you can take it and do negative 2 times 3t. And then I have this minus sign right here. Let me color code that, right? There's the minus sign, minus. And then I've got a negative 2 times 3 halves. Okay, so that negative 2 is being multiplied times both parts of the quantity. Negative 2 times 3t is going to give us negative 6t. We have minus. And then I've got negative 2 times 3 halves. Well, when we think about this part of it here, right, this is like negative 2 over 1, so that would be like saying negative 6, because negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. And then on the bottom, 1 times 2 is going to be 2, which is going to give us just a negative 3 when it simplifies. So I think my brackets got a little big there. There we go. So I've got negative 16 minus a negative 3 which is correct, but we could simplify that a little bit more. Let's just go ahead and say negative 6t plus 3. And that is our answer. Okay, so you just got to be careful distributing the negatives. Do you have to show that many steps? No. I just want to make sure that if people aren't understanding, that they can follow along. Number 19. We have 3x squared plus 2x minus 1. And then we are subtracting the quantity of 4x plus 5. As we look at this first set of grouping symbols here, there's nothing in here that can simplify down. And we're not multiplying uh, that quantity by anything. So we can just go ahead and just pull that out as 3x squared plus 2x minus 1. Now we're going to have to look at the fact that we are subtracting a quantity. We are subtracting 4x and we are subtracting a 5. So this is really like saying minus 4x minus 5. And now we're just going to look to simplify by combining the like terms. You know, we only have a 3x squared. There are no, no other squared terms. I've got a 2x, which is positive, and then I've got a negative 4x. When I combine those together, I've got two more negatives than positives. So minus 2x. And then at the very end here, I have a negative 1 and a negative 5 as my constant terms. So negative 1 minus 5 is going to give us negative 6. And that is our simplified answer. 3x squared minus 2x minus 6. That is uh, all for problems 18 and 19. If you have questions, please make sure you reach out. Please make sure you're careful with these kinds of problems. These are the, you know... Like I said, the most, um, the biggest errors I see during the year, it happens the most frequently during Algebra 2, is just distributing the quantities when there's negatives. All right, so be careful. Thanks for watching.